just a quick update. It's Friday. I just had my hair cut. Woohoo! Um, for those of you who've endured some of my videos, I was probably doing this a lot. My bangs were driving me crazy, so now I feel better about that. I am on my way to an event. You know how it is. Um, again, this, we live in a social club, so I'm going to a happy hour, but it's in the afternoon and it's three hours. Thank goodness I can work from home. Um, but it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of women there. It's, uh, about 60 women. There will be a ton of food that is not WW friendly. There'll be alcoholic beverages, but I organize this. So I kind of have people bringing water and diet sodas, that kind of thing. So I don't know. I'm not going to eat anything. I just had lunch. So that was my plan. I don't want to go there hungry. So I ate a very good eight point WW lunch. It was a Trader Joe's corn dog. Love those. And a little thing of Pringles and some fruit. So I am very full. I don't know if I'll have a glass of wine. You know how I love my wine, but I know I'm going to go out to dinner tonight with my hubby. So I don't know. I might save it for that. I, who knows? But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to see if I can grab a video. I just am a little hesitant to do it because I don't want to grab people on there who don't want to be on a video with me. <laughs> so maybe I'll just see what I can do. Maybe take a video of the food. The reason I'm doing this is just so you can kind of see that the, I, I mean, these are great challenges to have, but that's also why I gained my weight back. So I'm trying to plan better and say, no, Karen, eat before you go to these things. You don't have to eat at these things. So this is just a challenge. Some of you may be encountering the same thing at your work when there's a potluck or something like that. So um, I'll just show it if I can. And if not, I will give you another update with hopefully a WW check-in this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure what day. Super Bowl is Sunday. Going to a Super Bowl party. Oh my gosh. But that's another thing to talk about. But I might go in the morning Saturday. I liked that Saturday meeting. But I really do want to try that Sunday meeting. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll get back to you with what happens this afternoon. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. I didn't get any video last night or yesterday. I just got to talking. I checked out the food at the very end. I didn't even look at it till the very end, which is good. But there were tons of cookies and brownies and stuff, so I'm glad I didn't. And I had a good time. I was just, you know, talking. Had water. I think I drink a Diet Pepsi. But it was better than wine. I am here. Um, about to look for my husband. He is in a pickleball tournament. Oh my goodness. <laughs> pickleball. Yeah. I thought pickleball was for like a hundred year olds. No, it is incredibly competitive, super competitive. I mean, that's why I'm not playing. Plus I'm not in shape to play, but it's killer, but he's really good at it. So I'm hearing them still playing up here. So I'm checking to see if he's still here or if he's, there's some courts, or if he's over there with, oops. <laughs> You can't see, can you? <laughs> I'll turn it around. If he's over there, playing, we'll check it out. I'll let you know, but I'll be back. Oh, so, you know, a lot of times, wow, with the open play I'm back. I just have to vent for a second. I don't even know if this will make the video. I'm just going to vent because I just went to the UPS store. Now, you probably think I'm living in the middle of nowhere because you see back there it's just like desert and it is but there are tons of houses out here there are just tons you just can't see them but that UPS store is the only UPS store around and the only mailing store around our official post office is quite a ways away there is like a tiny post office that's not too far away um, it's a long story why I probably won't go there, but so I go to this UPS store a lot. I have a post office box at this UPS store. I go there a lot. We're in their system. Every time I go there, it is packed with boxes. It's busier than busy. Packed with boxes every single time they ask for my phone number and I give it to them and they're like, oh, you're a new customer. 
Uh, and I'm like, no. And they're like, well, you must not have been here in a while. No, I was here last week. Oh, well, we don't have you on file. And then they asked for all my information again to put it in there. And then one time it was under my husband's phone number. So they said, well, we're going to change all that because I'm usually the one that goes to the UPS store. So they put it all under my number. Do you think they've ever found that? No. And I know they deal with a lot of different kinds of people. I'm, can you just tell I need my Diet Coke because I'm having a day. Um, but I swear, they don't know me, but they're treating me like an idiot. Because one, they're like, well, you just haven't been here. And I, I, like I just said, I said, no, I, I've been here a lot. So there's that. So it's like my fault that I'm not in their system. No, it's their fault. Two, then I'm sitting there and she's like, well, I have two boxes going to two different places. And I know one of them is in their system, but one is not. And she said, well, let me check for that. We need to see if, if that's really correct. I'm taking that as we're gonna see if you're really telling us the truth because you don't know what you're talking about. I took it that way. That's the way this woman was coming across. I'm like, whatever. I was polite. I was nice. I'm just like this. I'm like, okay. And so then um, I get out my credit card and I'm just standing there. And meanwhile, people are picking up rugs, all sorts of crap. All over. I mean, they're sell They're mailing an antique chair. I'm telling you, the place is hopping. But I'm just standing there with my little credit card. And she scolds me and says, you can't put in your credit card yet. And I said, I'm not. I'm just standing here. I, I know I can't because you're not done. You know, I mean, I didn't say that part. I thought that in my mind. I just said, I haven't. I'm not doing it. And she said, well, you just need to know that. I mean, seriously? Okay, maybe a lot of people do that. But don't treat me like I'm an idiot. It's just so wrong and they are the only game in town. So my vent is that I want to open one of those places to give them some competition and have great customer service. And I know it would be a success because they need competition. You cannot walk in that store because there are so many boxes. It's just crazy. And at Christmas time, oh my gosh. I mean, I, I don't know how that place even operates. So, oh my word, I want to open it. I know I couldn't open a UPS store because that would be, you know, competition for them. There is a car in front of me going in every lane. So that's why I'm a little distracted. I don't know what she's doing. She doesn't know where she's going. Oh my gosh. Okay, I really, I'm gonna have to swig this Diet Coke in a second. But I, I want to open it. I don't know, something called like Postal Max or Postal Net or, you know, I have no idea what I'm talking about here, but that's my goal. I want to research that. My husband's going to think I'm absolutely nuts, but I know it could be a success. But I, I bet those are very expensive to open those. But anyway, that's my rant. I'm going to shut up and get home and do that video I talked about. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Hello there. Good morning. It's morning here. It's on a Friday. I have not done a video in a few days. I haven't had a whole lot happening because guess what? I did a video a couple weeks ago where I was sick, sicker than a dog, and this is a person who does not get sick. It came back. Hello. So lucky me. I um, went to the endodontist. That's a whole nother story which is on a video went to the endodontist on tuesday had a root canal on a root canal fun, fun. Um, highly recommended ha huh. and felt a little weird um that night and just start coughing a lot all sorts of stuff and on wednesday it came full force i still sound stopped up so i have been sleeping for the last two days. It's crazy. I hate it. I hate it. And I'm uh, determined to get out and about today because I have so much I need to be doing since I've lost a couple of days. But um, I also am going to a WW meeting right now. Another one that I have never tried before, but this time worked for me since I couldn't go yesterday. 
um, or the day before. So I'm trying out this Friday meeting. I'll let you know. I'll give you a quick update when I get out of it. When I get there, I have to get there. I'm running a little late. Um, I'll let you know what happens. But so yes, yeah, so that's all that's been happening in my world. Isn't that exciting? A root canal and a root canal. Um, and then I was sick. <laughs> fun, fun. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking that's all this dental work I'm having done, maybe that's contributing to this illness that I cannot kick because it's not the dentists themselves. I mean, it's very sanitary. They have gloves on and all that, but it, I, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe it weakens my immune system. Maybe I'm in a chair where there are tons of people that have been through there. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think it's helping my situation, but I'm hoping I'm kicking it. The fact that I'm upright and I'm in a car today, it's amazing. I love it. So I'm hoping I'm not going to push myself too far and then fall back. But as far as this weekend goes and any challenges I have on, um, well, I'm going to do a ton of stuff hopefully today. And tonight, some friends of ours invited us over for dinner and a movie, which is really nice. They have a home theater. So it's really nice. And um, it's right in our neighborhood. Even better. So we're going to do that. And I have no idea what we're having to eat. You know how that is. So I'm going to eat a little bit lighter today, I think. And oh shoot, I meant to bring a little Quest bar with me in the car and I didn't. Oh well, I uh, just thought about that. So I'll probably eat a little lighter today just in case. Um, you know, tonight is something, I don't know, massive or something. And then tomorrow, excitement again. I am doing a class from 8.30 to 2.30 on real estate contracts in Arizona. I was supposed to take my broker's test today. Today. And I couldn't because I couldn't study for it the last couple days, so I moved it um, to next week. And it worked out, so I took this class on Saturday all about contracts and I know a lot of you might be cringing when I say contracts I love that stuff I love it love it love it so I'm not I'm not dreading that by any means I'm looking forward to it and then I'm going to a kind of a memorial or celebration of life um, for a very good friend of mine um, it's at her sister's home she passed away back in October and uh, I won't talk too much about that I'll get really upset or sad, but she passed away in October from cancer. She was in her early fifties, very um, unexpected. She was diagnosed in August the previous year and was gone by the next October. But it was a really rare form of combination of cancers. So it was one of those situations where it was just a tough, tough battle for her. So I know she's in a better place. I'm very glad she's out of pain. Very, very glad, but I really miss her a lot. So I'm going to go to that tomorrow, 4 to, it's, it's 4 to 8. So, um, and there'll be food there. I mean, it sounds weird to even talk about that food and WW during that. I'm not even thinking about that. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll go and then go grab a bite to eat somewhere afterwards where some other friends of ours are going with us. So I don't know. I don't know yet. So there's a lot of question marks, as you can tell, in my WW future, <laughs> uh, which I don't like. I like to plan as much as possible. But, you know, I'm going to do the best I can here. And, and, you know, I'll be in that contract class for most of the day. So I'm just going to bring like a light lunch to eat. I'm sure they'll give us a lunch break. And I don't want to just go grab something that's not good for me. So I'm going to bring some lunch and, uh, you know, then it'll be a light one since I don't know what I'm doing that evening, but that's about it. I, very exciting, very exciting, huh? <laughs> but, uh, not just cause I've been sick and everything, but I am hoping, you know, I always weigh before I leave to go to my WW meeting and I'm hoping I'll see a loss. This is what my home scale showed. I'm wearing the same outfit, you might be wondering, why does she wear that shirt a lot? If I'm going to WW, I try to wear the same clothes. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does that. I learned that at one of my many meetings that I've attended um, from a fellow member. She said something like, I know all of you think I only have one 
set of clothes because, and I never, I never know. I don't notice that kind of thing. I never noticed that. She said, but I always wear the same thing to weigh. And all these people in the meetings said the same thing. Oh, I do too. I do too. I do too. And I was like, duh, why didn't I think of that? So I try to, I, I'm not really great about it, but this was clean today. And, and I know this is what I've worn before. So I'm wearing the same exact thing, <laughs> which means if I'm going to WW and I'm doing a Sorry about that. I had a phone call right in the middle of that. Um, it was a spam call, Ugh. but it looks like I have never changed clothes, but that's why, <laughs> because I'm wearing the same thing to weigh. But anyway, I will give you an update after I go in and see what's happened. Hey, I just came out of the WW meeting. Um, I was a tiny bit late, which I hate, hate, hate doing that. I hate being late to anything. That is my, my pet peeve. But anyway, um, a lot of other people were late too. Not that that makes that right. There was a line of people waiting to weigh in. I have not done this meeting on a Friday morning and it was packed. So I like that. I like that. So far, so good. I have a lot of options here if I can make one of these my home meeting. <laughs> my problem is my schedule has been so weird. But anyway, I'm glad I went. I actually ended up buying something. I never buy these things, but I bought um, chocolate peanut butter baked protein bars. Um, I haven't had these in a long time, but they're good. They're really good. And of course, as I was walking out, I'm like, oh, that was a little bit of a treat because I had a nice way in, which I'll tell you about. Um, but then I realized these were $8. And if I saw these at the store and it said $8, I would never buy them. $8. But for some reason, since it was at WW, I was like, oh, I'll buy that. That's not bad. I had to rethink that. Um, but I really like them. So I know I like them. So that's good. But anyway... I probably should look online and see if I, well, I'm sure WW charges the same thing online. I don't know. And maybe you have a different price wherever you live. Who knows? And sometimes they go on sale. I know that. But anyway, $8. So I'm excited to buy that. Um, I was not to pay for it, but I was excited to buy it. And I did have a good weigh in. I can, don't know how in the world this happened, but I lost 3.2 pounds. Now, if you remember, if you follow any of these or happen to have watched it, one week I lost 0.2, and I remember saying at least it went down, um, which was true, very true, but I had done everything correct. Um, this week, I did everything correct, even though I wasn't feeling well. My appetite was still around. Well, you know, why does that happen? But I, um, I, I tracked everything, and... The only thing different, you know, I have wine during the week at these little social things I go to. Well, I didn't go to any of those, so maybe that was it. I don't know. But usually it's because I lose like 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and then I lose like what I did today. So who knows? But I'm going to take it. I'm very excited about it. So since the end of the year 1229, I actually kind of started, I think. Yeah, I started 1229. Yes. Yeah. I've got it. My, I have messed up so many of my dates, but I started 1229. I went to my first meeting again on 1226, but I didn't start till 1229, but I've lost 16.6. .6. So I am excited, excited, excited. So I'm happy about it. I'm going to keep going. Um, these are the great weeks, right? It's easy to stay on the plan when you've been losing and it's tougher when you've done everything right and you don't lose or you lose a little bit, or you even gain. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this week because I know those other weeks are coming. Um, that's just the way my body works. But anyway, just wanted to give you a quick update and um, trying to think of anything else. I think that might be it. This might be how I wrap up this video. And as always, subscribe so you don't miss an episode or hit the like button. I would love that. Or follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram daily. Uh, that I don't even talk about here on my YouTube videos. So I'm at on Instagram, www.after50. Another video kind of explained why I had to do that, but www.after50. Hope to see you there. Bye.